we've been joined by Coach Willie Taggart from USF. The uh, Bulls are 3-6 and six overall, 2-3 and three in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, US, USF had an open week this past weekend. Bulls are in action this Saturday at SMU. That will be an 8 p.m. Eastern time start on CBS Sports Network. Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to just tell us how your open week went as you prepare for Saturday's game against SMU and what you expect to see from your team on Saturday, please. Uh, we had a, a very productive open week. We uh, had a couple of uh, nice uh, tackling periods in practice and uh, really got out there, went back to the basics and uh, had some really good competition going on as well. Now we're getting ready for SMU, uh, team that's playing better and, and looking for a win just like us. And um, got to have a great week of practice and go up and play some good football. Take questions for Coach Willie Taggart, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. And we'll go to Dan Dotero with Dan Dotero Broadcast and Media. Hi, Coach. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. In the bye week, obviously you went into that with having different quarterbacks that have played this season and just what you've seen from White and Bench. Flowers also had some time. Just what you're doing going into a game like this, what you've seen from your quarterbacks, who you expect to step up and be a leader. I know you talked about leadership at that position in the past. Um, all those guys, again, last week was a great a great week of competition, and um, it was good to see those guys get back to competing and going out and making plays, and, and each one of them uh, made plays and did some things to make us all um, feel better, you know. Uh, when I say each one of them, I'm talking about Mike, Stephen, and and Quentin. And uh, it was good to see, and I, I think we got better as a football team. What were some of the things that stood out to you when you looked at Mike, Stephen, and Quentin? When you said they made some plays that made you feel good, um, what were some of those things that they had been doing? Um, well, making making the throws that that we we asked those guys to make, make the right, right read. You know, and uh, make the and taking care of the football, you know, and, and which is something important. And, and then from the leadership and showing some emotion and, and bringing your teammates along and getting to where your teammates play for you. I thought uh, each one of those guys uh, showed some of that this this past week. Uh, good to see Quentin um, get in there and play. You know, now getting more reps than he's had in the past, and uh, uh, he did a great job as well. Do you have a thought on who you'd like to see out there? I mean, is it kind of by committee right now? Are you trying to key in on one person? How does that kind of look for you? Well, I like, I like for a guy to come lead the football team, a guy that goes out and competes the whole game for his football team and, and make the play that um, he's capable of making. You know, uh, I think that's what we're, we're missing is a guy that uh, is not going to let this football team lose, you know, and, I think each one of those guys have it. They just got to uh, show it, show it, show it in practice among the teammates and then go out and make the plays on Saturdays. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We'll go next to Joey Knight from the Tampa Bay Times. Coach, it looks like SMU is using a dual threat quarterback now, uh, Matt Davis. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. He had a really nice game against Tulsa. What's your impressions of him? What you've seen on the tape? Um, pretty much what you said there. Just very athletic. Uh, he he reminded me of the kid from Houston. Just bigger, probably not as quick, but uh, very athletic and can uh, make plays with his feet, especially when things aren't aren't there in the passing game and uh, take off a run. So we got to do a great job of containing him and, and getting him down and. Uh, you watch them, they like seem like a better football team. Now it seems like they're playing for them. They're making the plays that they uh, they want to make and uh, play Tulsa really close. And do you expect um, the guys who have been dinged up, Price, Rock, Swain, do you expect them to be back for this game? Um, I do. Um, I know Price is going to go out of practice with today uh, and then uh, – I think Rock Swain was a little behind, further behind of Sean, but uh, we'll see how this week goes with him. He's more probable. And just to be uh, accurate, it's safe to say that 
your three quarterbacks are still competing for the starting job going into this week. Yes, sir. Safe to say that right now. <laughs> Until uh, we pick them. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any other questions for Coach Taggart, please? Star one on your telephone, if so. And Coach, well, thank you for your time this week. Look forward to talking to you again next Monday.